Now, our final step in Illustrator is to bring your live traced image together with your pucker and bloat shapes and your brushes that you created. Okay, so when you do that, you just want to copy all of the points from your live trace image, copy and paste it into the same file that you used for pucker and bloat. Okay, once you get everything in here, make sure that you group your live, you've grouped your live traced points so it's one shape. Okay, so if I click on my snowboarder, all of the points move together. Okay, now and if I click on my, each one of my pucker and bloat shapes are separate shapes. So what I'm going to do is select them all. Okay, and do a control G to group them together. So now when I click on one, I click on them all. Then they will all move together. Okay. Now I just want you to do some arrangement. Find a spot um, for your image. Figure out how you want things to look. Okay, so just play around for a couple minutes until you get it the way you like. Okay, once you get it the way you like, do a file save. Okay, save your original Illustrator file in your iDrive. Then I want you to do a file export and the same way that we exported your headphones and earbuds in the iPod project, I want you to do a file export and um, export it as a PNG file. Now that will preserve the transparency of your vector image when we bring it into Photoshop to morph it onto the t-shirt. Okay, So you want to export it to your iDrive, to your t-shirt mockup folder. Okay, I'm going to put mine on my desktop. And from the format menu, pull down and choose PNG. Okay, now my PNG is not showing up for some reason because it's, uh, I guess it's not here. Oh, there it is. Oh, I found it. Okay, PNG. Okay, so export as a PNG file. Make sure when you export and you get your PNG options, make sure you check. Uh, check 300 ppi or pixels per inch and click OK. Then the file will write. Once the file is finished writing, um, you can save your file again just to be sure and close up Illustrator because now at this point in the project, this is our final step using this program. So you can close Adobe Illustrator and open up Adobe Photoshop and your um, t-shirt design PNG file as well in Photoshop. Okay, and then you'll be good to go and ready to move on to the next tutorial.